Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 2. And in this episode of our season with Myatt Snyder's number 51, Louisiana Hawks, Alstoyda Tundra, we're going to be completing race 22 of 23, which is going to be the third race of the round of six, which is going to take place at Phoenix Raceway for the Lucas Oil 150. In the last episode, we raced at Texas Motor Speedway for another night race. We were running quite well until we couldn't get past Ben Rhodes, almost wrecked Ben Rhodes, and after we took our pit stops, whenever stage two was done, they sent us all the way back to freaking 20th place. We got up into the top ten. Ben Rhodes had some problems, slid into the outside wall, brought out a caution, and he ended up finishing in 28th place. And we won the race, locking ourselves into the final four. That was just so mind-blowing for me at the moment because of all the things that could possibly happen to all the drivers that could happen to the freaking leader that was running so well. Um, I don't know if that happened because I drove into him going to turn one on like the last lap of stage two or what, but that's it. That's almost over for Ben Rhodes. If he doesn't do good enough at Phoenix, he's not going to make it into the final four. But we've locked ourselves in. That's all good. Here are the playoff standings right here. Uh, Grant Enfinger, Chris Rebell, and Matt Crafton looking to be there for the show at Homestead. And Ben Rhodes is 37 points behind Crafton. Chase Briscoe is 41 points behind... Um, Matt Crafton as well. So, ugh, they're both really close together, but they're really quite far from being in there. So, is this it? Is that practically what it's going to be? We're going to find out whenever we run this race right here. I thought that this track was known as Phoenix Raceway now, but I guess that's just Richmond Raceway. And as the logo says right there, it's still Phoenix International Raceway. Whatever. I don't know anything. I mean, this is the last version that they're going to be racing this track. Next year, it's going to be known as ISM, and they're putting the finish line in the back stretch. They're putting all the grandstands in the back stretch. They're just flipping the whole freaking thing around. They're still going in the same direction. I don't know what kind of entertainment that's going to bring, but uh, yeah, it's one of the first races of the next season, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't know if they're changing the schedule for ISM, but let's get into qualifying. This is our first time racing this track, and our only time racing at this track in this season. I don't think I've ever raced this track with trucks, and if I did, I probably don't remember it. So let's go ahead and get on the track. Uh, I have the mirror on. I'm not going to bother taking the dog leg very deep because the AI don't do that, and if the AI don't do it, then I don't see why I should do it in the first place, because then it's just basically cheating, or at least it feels like cheating. Okay, got to slow down for turns three and four. You know, I've raced here in the other series, so I can't exactly think of why I'd have problems. Um, taking the turns correctly. Uh, my nose is just... Okay. Am I going too slow? Am I going too fast for turns one and two? Okay, I think we're fine. Let's just stay on the dark part of the track. Why don't we qualify last place because I have no experience here with the trucks. You're tapping the freaking left trigger because I guess that's how I drive in this darn game. Okay, I think I underdrove turns three and four, but that was our only shot. What do we get? 26th. It's not last, but uh, it could have been better. Pretty sure I could have run like a 28.7 or something, but these people with 27 second lap times, I think those are the guys that, you know, drive down the dog leg and everything in the qualifying, but never actually do it in the race. That's how they're getting those darn lap times. Okay then, let's do this. We've already locked ourselves in the final four, so let's just race, have some fun, not ruin the chances of any of the other drivers that are in the round of six. Green flag is out. We're underway for four laps of the first stage at Phoenix International Raceway. Not Raceway, because this is an international track. Wow, I went to the outside and got tight and started dropping back. I don't know why that guy got off the gas so much. He didn't have to. So, yeah, I guess we're just going to sit back here and watch the show. Maybe win, I have no idea. I don't exactly want to win this race if it's going to mean someone else can't get in. I honestly want Ben Rhodes to win this race because I feel like he kind of got screwed out of how well he was doing at Texas with whatever problems that was. Maybe he had a tire go down, I don't know. That just ruined his entire chances of making the final four. It'd be a miracle if he did now. I didn't even look to see who made the uh, pole. I mean, it was on the screen, but I never looked at it. Okay, we're going to get to the inside right here. Going beneath the yellow line because there's no room. And now we're back above it. The truck is really freaking tight in the center of the corner. Two laps to go in stage one. Not exactly making my way to the field. I'm actually falling back since where I qualified. 
trying so hard not to rear in these guys. I'm also trying to get the darn truck to turn, but it's not really a big fan of that. That's okay. I guess if Ben Rhodes hadn't had problems at Texas Motor Speedway and I had won that race, then I would not make the Final Four. I don't want to relax. I want to see what I could have actually done if that win had not come to me. But, um, yeah, I'm having a really hard time racing on this freaking track. One lap to go in stage. I'm going to dive into turn one. And back on the gas, trying not to go up into this 42 right here. He's running out of room. We're making our way through the field slowly. I don't think we have enough time to actually like get into the top 15 or whatever in this entire darn race. The pit stop's going to happen eventually. There's Josh Peck. He's in like last place in the point standings, if I'm correct. And we're going to get that spot as we come off of turn four. This is going to be 22nd, and that's the end of stage one. Let's take a look at the uh, results so I can see where Ben Rhodes is. My man, Ben Rhodes. Ben Rhodes. Everybody's pitting after stage one. That's I didn't expect that. Ben Rhodes is... In third place, Chris Rebell is in second. Austin Wayne himself is in first. I think Chris Rebell is already um, locking himself into the final four. So Ben Rhodes having a third place run is uh, good for him. Also, just like always, it makes sure that I lose a bunch of pit stops, a bunch of positions during my pit stop. I can't lose pit stops during my position. Whoa, um, I'm not sure if that was sexual or just flat out stupid. But the green flag is out again. We're underway for another four laps, stage two. To get out from the outside, power our way through turns one and two. Got held up by Forrester a bit. Okay, so we don't have to take pit stops anymore. We can just keep on moving up spots, and that will be fine. I'm just hoping Ben Rhodes can handle this situation well. I think Ben Rhodes is on the inside trying to take the lead. I think that's him up there. I'm looking at him. You see, it's a little red, but yeah, I can't exactly see all the things I need to see. We're already back up in the 27th place. I'm being more aggressive than I was last time. Mostly the frustration of having to lose all spots whenever I take a pit stop and I'm at the back of the field. It always assumes that I'm going to be in last place. I don't know why, but it used to be you took a pit stop, you didn't lose a bunch of positions. Now, they went right back to that. What happened? Who, who, who unpatched the patch? Unpatching should not be a thing. That is the most horrible thing I've ever heard in video game history. Getting really aggressive, pushing people up the track. I mean, people that don't matter. I mean, if they're in the round of six, I'm going to be careful on them. Diving into oh, 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 oh man, diving into turn one, almost killing myself because the freaking wallet sticks out. I don't even know how close I was to hitting that darn thing. Oh man, I should just put a freaking replay right there. Diving into oh, oh, oh. as we get into 18th place. Why did Young hit the brakes in front of me? Is that Tyler Young? Please tell me I got the name right. Yeah, I got it right. It's Tyler Young. Oh, shit. It overbraked in the middle of the freaking turn. I don't know what the hell happened. That hit the stage early, by the way. That wasn't my fault. I had the brakes going, then all of a sudden it shot down to the left really hard. I don't know what that was. That didn't make any sense. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to hit the wall, but I, it confirmed I was going to hit the wall whenever all of a sudden it snapped to the left all the way. I didn't... That didn't make any sense. Ben Rose is in the lead. He's trying to win this race. Go get it, man. Go get it. We don't need to take pit stops now. That was not supposed to happen, but Ben Rose got a stage win because of that. That's 10 freaking points. Good on you. Keep on going. I mean, just third in the first stage. He won the other stage. That's some playoff points right there, so this is all really good. Go get him. I'm on the outside to freaking restart. Going up a bit. Trying to get the truck to turn, I don't want to. I don't know why they do that. They could just keep it in the middle and, you know, have that spot as they come off the corner by making it three wide. Instead, they back out every single time. Because I'm watching my mirror whenever I go tight like that, go up the track and whatever. Uh, I didn't exactly lose very many positions from hitting that impending wall, but golly, that stupid wall and whatever it was whenever I hit the brakes. It made the truck shoot down to the left and right into it. I mean, it wasn't going to hit it, but now weird brake glitch because that it wasn't going to do that, but it did. This race is going by rather fast. I suppose it is because I'm just kind of relaxing back here. Ben Rhodes is pulling away. Ben Rhodes has been working really hard in these last few races to make it to the final four. I'm not getting off the gas. I'm just pushing Smith up the track because I'm an asshole. You already know, know that. I feel like I shouldn't have had to get off the gas with the brakes right there, so I was like, nah, I'm not going to. 
Uh, I'm trying to get around Smith. He, he won't get out my outside. Uh, I think they're catching Ben Rhodes again. They're staying with him, but I don't know if the, anybody's going to get around him. Passing the leader whenever it comes to the AIs just doing it is uh, not very common. Especially in NASCAR games. No one really ever passes the leader whenever it comes to AI. I guess it's just a thing. We're in 15th place. I never thought we'd actually get up here whenever I started this darn race. Oh, okay, get hard on the brakes in that, JC. Are TJ Bell and Christopher Bell related? I have no idea. I'm just thinking about that right now. I should, I've thought about it earlier in the season, but I never mentioned it. But are TJ Bell and Christopher Bell related? Because they're both racing the same freaking series. And it's, it's like, I, I have no idea. But here's TJ Bell in 13th place. I suppose he's doing better than usual. Get off of me. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Can't see their entire number, and I don't know numbers anyhow. I'm almost hitting that freaking wall on the inside. Also, this truck can't even turn. I mean, we didn't pit that long ago. Ow! Okay. Oh, that's Chastain. I didn't know he had that blue border on the outside of his number. Now people are just pushing me up the freaking track. Okay. Surrounded by assholes all of a sudden. This truck doesn't work anymore. I'm hitting everything. Trying to control the stupid damn thing. Okay, it's gone. This truck is just so gone. Everything's over. And it brings out a caution. I can't go down pit road. I'll lose all my spots. As if it'll even matter. What happened? It was running fine. All of a sudden, it's like, hey, I can't turn anywhere on the track. Then people are start knocking me out of the damn way. Okay, quit wasting time. I'm on the outside again. Now Ben Rhodes has got to deal with this stupid crap I'm putting on him. This is so stupid. And the letters on the back of my truck are all italicized now. I'm going to get to the inside now because I'm sick of being on the outside. Outside does not want to work with this truck. This car, this car, this truck has no grip anymore. I see them slowing down more than usual so they can get the trucks in turn, but they still power up the corner just fine. That's ridiculous. Come on, truck. Have better tire wear than this. This is stupid. The tires can't get that warm that fast. I'm hard. I'm not even putting forth that much of an effort to, you know, drive around this track because I don't need to. Apparently, this truck thinks so with the tires. It's the last lap. Ben Rhodes is in the lead. He's trying to keep it. Someone's getting underneath him a run in the freaking back stretch. He's not getting there. He's trying to. I can't see who it is because we have to sit back here and, you know, do nothing but fight for positions that don't matter. There's Gregson. He won at Martinsville, I think. And there we go. And we're going to get 19th place here at Phoenix at the last second. So, Ben Rhodes wins at Phoenix, and he makes it in the Final Four. He made it in the Final Four, too, with, I think, Chris Rebell and one other guy. I don't know who the other guy would be. Maybe Matt Crafton. Matt Crafton was at the bottom of the list, wasn't he? I don't remember. Here are the race results. Ben Rhodes got the win, and he also won the second stage. Apparently, Austin Wayne himself won the first stage of the race. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even know he was up front to begin with, and he somehow finished in 11th place. Us, 19th. It could have been much better if our tower hadn't gotten so bad in the middle of the final stage of the race. Tower was really just killing us, honestly. It, it did so many bad things to my existence. Also, that freaking pit stop just dragged us down, but that was after the first stage, so I don't know if that really mattered that much. We made it all the way up to, like, 14th place at one point. Um, let's go back, because I'm having problems reading all these results and stuff. Ryan Truex had the fastest lap, so that's kind of a random driver. Ben Rhodes, of course, led the most with 16. And what else is there? On the move. I was on the move. I started 26th and finished 19th. Um, okay. Can't believe I was the most impressive driver out there. Awesome way itself. Started on pole and finished 11th. Wow, he started up front and I never even noticed. So that's how he got that stage one, but I don't know what happened afterwards. I guess he had a bad pit stop and just fell backwards and stayed back there from that point on. Next weekend, we are going to Homestead, Miami for the EcoBoost 200. We've made the championship for... Uh, it's all or nothing. Babe, it's you and I. I should stop saying Theory of a Dead Man song lyrics. That song is very cheesy anyways. A lot of Theory of a Dead Man songs are cheesy. But um, here are the playoff standings, of course. Me, Ben Rhodes, who got that win at Phoenix. Chris Rebell and Grant Infinger. So it wasn't Matt Crafton. Matt Crafton was in fourth place going in that race, I think, but it was Grant Infinger who was already in there and 
Ben Rhodes locked himself in with that win, so glad to see Ben Rhodes make a comeback after whatever the hell happened at Texas. He wouldn't have had to win that race if he had won at Texas, and if he had won at Texas, then I, I'm pretty sure I would not be in here right now. I really think I am. Who knows? I was running quite consistent before that, but we did so bad at Phoenix just a while ago, so I really don't know. If Ben Rhodes had won at Texas and say I finished like fifth place, would I have made it? Someone let me know if you can math it out for me. But I'll see you guys next weekend whenever we finish this championship to find out if we're actually going to win the championship in the truck series, and then we'll start the Xfinity championship with Ty Majeski, I suppose. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.